children find themselves in foster care through no fault of their own. Once they're there, they have to rely on the system. And CASA advocates provide them an advantage that's going to get them through that system and be successful in the future. Our mission is to invest in hopeful futures. Once my child was assigned to me, then it was very important to get to know him and what his situation is about. And I found out very quickly that he'd been through a couple social workers, even more than one home. You could tell he was traumatized and stressed over the situation. This particular case has two brothers. The boys were dropped off at a park by their mother and the mother never picked them back up. And so the boys were found sleeping on cardboard boxes. They've been in multiple foster homes throughout the years. So we would talk about the games he was playing. We just really had a lot of fun together, you know, didn't really talk about any of the issues until we really started to just know each other. Children don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. One of the ways that we build their trust is by making sure what we say, we're going to do. And so I gave them something to look forward to. They wanted some exercise equipment at their foster home. Well, I told them, if you get your grades up, I'll make it happen. One of them did go through and get his grades up, and I followed through and I made sure he got what he was looking for. They see that I'm a man who will hold up to his word, and there are people out there that will work with them and be truthful with them and help them out. The child and the advocate, their relationship is really becomes a bond. Um, and once that bond is developed, the advocate becomes the right arm of that child, speaks for him or her in court, makes sure his or her interests are, are provided for and accounted for. I was really trying to express to him that I was someone that he could trust and that I was just interested in him. He was my number one priority. Then I was able to start to use fun activities to oh, not only get to know him better, but also motivate him. I would say things like, if I hear great reports from all your teachers, we will go out to the berry patch and we'll pick berries for a couple hours and taking to the library. Sit in there all afternoon and just read books and read magazines and things like that. The plunge. We play out there all day and we'll go on a slide and swim and hang out and I pack lunches for them and when we've been out at a restaurant and I'll say can you ask for the check when they come next and just teaching them how to do that and don't forget to say thank you and you're not only advocating for the child but you're advocating for lifelong learning you know you're helping him advocate for himself too. Children with advocates in the foster care system are more likely to attend school they're more likely to go uh, and finish high school. Uh, they're more, more likely to be employed. And they're more likely to give back to their community when they become adults. And I think that that's um, the main impact of an advocate. It is someone who is there for them when others have not been. The most rewarding part of being an advocate is seeing smiles on the kid's face and get to experience things they've never got to experience before. They've never been to the zoo before. So we took them to the zoo and wow, look at those animals. You know, it was a good experience for them. And we take them out to buffalo wings. We'll go out, walk them all, and then we'll grab a drink or something. They like playing basketball at the park. So call them up, say, hey, you know, weather's great. You want to go to the park and shoot some hoops? And we go play uh, horse. Getting them out to experience life outside of the home is important. That follows through with a good relationship. When I first met my child, lots of adults were trying to talk to him. My child would shut right down, hugging his legs and arms, and we kind of talk about how those can be opportunities. If you have opinions and you have words that you want to say, whenever we're in a group of people, these can be opportunities to express yourself. Now he engages in enthusiastically, and as advocates, we're helping them get to that point where they can advocate for themselves. So we're modeling it the whole way, <laughs> right? They had been through multiple foster families themselves. And he goes, why am I moving again? I don't understand why I have to move again. Three moves in one month, so four, four foster families in one month, and not 
have somebody there for them. You try to ease the pain. You try to make them understand the problem is not you. That stability in their lives is definitely needed and it's basically the only stability in their lives if they're in the system. So I want to make sure that they have a good foundation that they too can look at it and say, you know what, the CASA advocate helped me. What I like to accomplish in the, the boys' lives is to make sure that they have a solid foundation to get out of school and build a life for themselves. I want to help someone that eventually will be this really important contributing community member. I want to play a part in that. That time with just him is starting to become priceless. You know, you're just fortunate for the opportunity.